This is Tim Flood from Rural Land Watch. Today I'm going to make a brief instructional video and show you how to find the parcels we have for sale using KMZ files on Google Earth and Google Maps. One of the most common questions we get is, what's the street address for this property or how do I get to it? In most cases, we don't have a street address for the properties because they are so remote and rural. So what I wanted to do was show you an example of a property. This is a 15 acre parcel we have uh, that's going to be coming up in a few weeks. We're very excited about it. It's located in Pushmataha County, Oklahoma. And so you might want to go look at this. We're both located in Texas and so we're probably not going to meet you up there. We just want you to go and look at the property at your convenience and then let us know if you like it or not. So let me zoom out here. I'll show you where this property's at. Here's Sardis Lake in Oklahoma. Here's the town of Clayton. And you can see our property is south and west of the town of Clayton, right off of Oklahoma State Highway 2. If we zoom in closer, you can see this is Bevins Road. Bevins Road ends at this little farm that you can see here, and then it becomes relatively unimproved at that point. And then here's the 15 acre parcel right off of Bevins Road but that may not help you. So you want to know, well, how do I get to it? So what I'm going to do is show you, this is some software we use. Uh, I'm going to copy this data that I have, and that's not relevant to, I had a guy create a software for me called KML Maker. And KML and KMZ files are the types of files that Google Earth will use to locate geographic areas. And I will send you a KMZ file via email and that seems to be where most people have trouble. So there's the file, and I'm going to rename it 15 Acres Push, Push County, Oklahoma. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop. And there it is right there. Now, from Google Earth, let me close this out. If you don't have Google Earth already on your computer, you should install it. It's a free software and it's really a lot of fun anyway, whether you're looking at properties or not. I love this. And so a lot of people seem to have trouble with this. So I will email you this KMZ file and it'll look something like this here. Here's my email. I just emailed it from me to me and I'll say something like see attached, here's the property and you'll just download this KMZ file to some place that you can a lot of times I think what people try and do is open it up directly by clicking it from in here and that's not the way to do it what I want you to do is download it and then save it somewhere like this where you can find it easy enough okay so here it is and then we're gonna go from inside Google Earth we'll file open and then we're gonna go to the desktop and here it is you can see Google Earth looks for KML, KMZ. I don't know what ETA and the .ini files are, but here's the file we're looking for. And then there you can see, there it is. And look, if I wanted to, or if you wanted to, you could even go over here to properties of it. You can beef up this line as big as you need so that you can see it. Sometimes I'll do like this. I'll make a, a little yellow uh, coloring inside and I'll so that you can see it from far away. And there's one way to find it. The other thing you can do is Google Maps also works off of these same types of files. So let's open up Google Maps. And we're going to go to menu and we're going to go to places. We're going to go to maps. We're going to go down here to create map. We're going to do this import. All right, so here it's looking for this KML file. And there it is there, still on my desktop, right where it was. Okay. 
And then in Google Maps, you can see there it is. You can share it. Okay, it wants to, so I'm going to call it 15 acres in Bush County. Here's 15 acres southwest of Clayton, Oklahoma. So here it is. We can share it. I can share it with you. You can email it, make edits, or whatever we need to do. Okay, and then we can preview it. We can go to the satellite view. And there's the property. And then so from there you can share this information to your phone and use this as a way to navigate to properties. So when you ask me where the property is or what the address is, I'm going to send you a KML file and you can upload it into Google Earth or Google Maps exactly as I've shown you. So I hope this helps. Thanks for your interest in our properties and we look forward to talking to you.